What's up YouTube, it's Sat from Bangatech Reviews and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Low Pro camera case. Now this case specifically accommodates micro four thirds, bridge cameras and your digital DSLRs. However, some DSLRs might have bigger lenses so it's only up to a certain size and I'll demonstrate that in later on in the video. Okay, so let's start off by the actual case itself. So here we have the case. We have a little information pack which Low Pro include at the top so let's quickly go through and read that over 40 years of firsts so we have a look as you can see a little bit of information so just saying how they experienced in camera cases and we had the same images over and over again in different languages then we have other sort of options of what other products they offer okay enough of that so let's quickly put that to one side at the top portion of the case we have a nice handle um, the good thing about it is you know it's quite strong and sturdy so if you have a heavy camera it will it will keep its place and it won't tear off like normal ones if you buy a cheap quality product so second of all let's quickly go onto this side and we have these two hooks on either side as you can see and then one on the other side now this is for the straps that are included with the camera case the straps are just over here and you can extend them depending on your preference so you can have them lower down or higher up in your body and you just basically push one part and then it clips on and it just goes in as so so that's securely in it's not going to be going anywhere and it will keep your camera safe so let's quickly take that off again just for demonstration purpose okay so we looked at the handle and the two clips on either side now let's have a look at the actual case itself so really nice material it's going to keep it protected if you drop it and at the back we have this little part over here where you can connect it to a belt and then use it as uh, a strap on your belt and then you can easily have access to your camera in this case at the back also has the website www.lowpro.com and then let's quickly open this beast up so over here we have a buckle that you can extend so if you keep a lot of things in this compartment then you can extend this section so it will close and keep the camera safe and won't fall out. Inside we have this really nice padding as you can see. This is a portion where your digital SLR bridge camera or compact system will go in. So really nice padding on either side to provide protection and then it's really nice material inside. And on the top part we have a little bit more headroom so it will fit in quite nicely. And then we have that lock for the other section. Now we discussed the back part, let's quickly go into the side. Now this is quite neat. This part basically you can unstrap it and then this part comes out which is one of my favourite parts of this case. So as you can see it's shown a sign to pull it out. You pull it out and then it reveals a little compartment. Now this compartment can be used for anything like storing your SD card, storing your... I guess you can also store a slim... Um, adapter for your tripod so they can go in there or you can store multiple I'm guessing easily six will fit in there and then you can um, store such as your remote control as well so if you just pop that back in once you've finished using that compartment up you just close it back in as so fits in easily again and then you pop that section in there and then strap it back in place and that's not going to be coming out anytime soon okay guys so overall this was my review of the Low Pro camera case and I'll just quickly finish it off by showing you how a camera fits inside it. So this is my Lumix G3 camera as you can see. It's not the biggest camera in the world but it does have um, a decent size lens on it, 14 to 42 millimeter. And then you put that in there, as you can see I have plenty of room, I've got about inch or two room in there and then you just put all the straps inside and then close it. And then we have that securely on. So as you can see, the camera is inside now. And then we've got plenty of room to keep more accessories at the front in this compartment. And then on the side mentioned, and we've got plenty of headroom so the camera would get damaged. Right, so that was a quick review of the Low Pro camera case. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comment section below. And as always, guys, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.